Grandma Weep, Grandma Weep, Nitty Bong, and welcome back to my channel. And today we'll be talking about how you can't hide from Hasbro Legal, no matter how you mask it. Ever wanted a cardboard core for a Power Master Prime? Jazea toys have a cutesy looking sound wave, and then we also take a look at a legend of a Metroplex. All this and much, much more coming up in the next few minutes. And now the news, don't touch that dial. So regular viewers of this channel know that a company called Ramen Toy are releasing, or have released, because these are pictures of people actually getting these things in hand, finally. They're releasing their take on Mama Ma Mask, and they've released something called Red Gullwing, which we can see is obviously Matt Tracker's cars. And doesn't this look an absolute thing of beauty? Yes, yes, it does. And... Something this beautiful seems to have not escaped the legal minds at Hasbro because this week, Ramen Toy themselves have put a statement out saying, uh, for those wondering why the status of the Red Gullwing has disappeared from the listings on the website. First, the original version, which is what I've shown you the boxes of now, it's sold out. Such as the listing has also been taken off their website. However, and this is the real kicker, they have also received a cease and desist from Hasbro in June. The removal of the listing on the website ties in with compliance with Hasbro as well. Oh dear. So unfortunately, this thing of absolute beauty that they have been making this red gullwing this much much anticipated figure that looks absolutely great and they were starting to do a whole line of these has now disappeared hasbro hasbro keeping an eye on everything that they own while doing absolutely nothing with this themselves how very very sad but if you do like this don't worry they are going to do something a little bit different here so there is going to be like a version two basically that is going to become so there's going to be a second release for those of you who have missed out but they are going to do some small little changes to it but what are the changes i hear you cry the differences will include Mad Talking, aka Matt Tracker, will have a steel coloured helmet. There will be new slash different box art. I think that's quite sad because that original box art that they've got there is absolutely phenomenal. It will be different reduced box size as well. No blister window, no blister, no tempo print, no comic because there was a comic that came with this one as well. And there will be a provided sticker sheet to apply your own stickers to make it either toy accurate or tune accurate. Chrome plated side door cannons, new cockpit screen images. Obviously they must be traded marked on the images that are inside the cockpit as well and injected black plastic rear spoiler instead of red so you're gonna get something now instead that looks a little bit like it not something that is 100 accurate so if you manage to pick up this version the first version well done because you scored an absolute beauty which we may never see the likes of again. Now I feel sad I didn't pick it up. On a much more happier note, if you do like your retro gaming, then AntStream launched just this week on Xbox, and I can highly recommend Amp stream because it is phenomenal it has 1300 retro games on it and i've been playing speedball 2 pretty much all week it's one of my favorite games of all time and you get a little bit of a choice of like amiga version but unfortunately you can't save the amiga version for some reason but you get a, a mega drive version and i can't remember what the other version so you get three different ways to play it i've also been playing and you'll see a bit of a theme here with the bitmap brothers if you're into your old school retro gaming i've also been playing a bit of zen and two and i've also been playing magic pockets and gods that has one of the best soundtracks ever highly 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 recommend this it's about well in the uk it was 30 quid but i managed to get it with uh, microsoft 
points that I add up. Well worth having a crack at. And some happy birthdays. First of all, gamer related. Happy birthday to, and I know I'm going to butcher this and I completely apologize, to Hidenri Ugagi, who is the voice of Majima in the Yakuza series. One of my favorite gaming series is going absolutely fantastic. And this is one of my favorite characters from it. I was actually going to do a video on the Yakuza series not so long ago, but I got super, super busy with work and ended up not doing it. If you have not played this you need to everything apart from yakuza 3 is phenomenal and they've got some new ones coming out as well well worth playing yakuza especially if you like some surreal comedy uh, mixed in with like quite harsh gangster stuff as well at parts amazing amazing series happy birthday buddy and then, of course, this week we also celebrated the mighty Peter Cullen's birthday. So it's actually Peter Cullen's birthday this week. Happy birthday. I think it was yesterday at the point of recording this. The mastermind behind the voice of Optimus Prime, the one and only Peter Cullen. Happy birthday. Long may you continue as the voice of Optimus Prime. So last week I said, look... Funby Studios are making a chair. But why were they making a chair? They were making a chair so you can take your bots down to the pub. More specifically, McAdams Oil House. So they are making some tables and some seats for McAdams Oil House. So for those of you who don't know what McAdams Oil House is, this is something that is set up within the world of the IDW comics, where all of the bots go for a quick pint at the end of the day super cool nice to have some tables and chairs i hope i haven't missed it already but let's make a bar i want to see a bar for this as well nice they are just making so much stuff for your bots whatever you want they make it i don't know if they take requests or not but i guess that's also got to be worth a shot right absolutely fantastic well done Fumby studios very very creative if you like honest trailers, and I know I like honest trailers, I think they're very, very, very funny as a YouTube channel. They have just released their honest trailer on Rise of the Beasts. I think every single critique that I had about that movie within my um, review that I did of it is also in this 100%. It's very, very funny. Very, very good. Give it a watch. Speaking of Rise of T Beasts, it's now streaming on Paramount Plus. I don't know what's wrong with my Paramount Plus because I can't see it, so maybe it's over in the States, but yeah, apparently it's there. TFCon is happening very, very soon, and oh no, Megatron has lost his face. So, of course, it's up to this community to find him a new one. And there was some okay ones. Some lacked creativity, but I do love myself that little Retgar one there. So well done. And it's even by somebody called Ba Weep Grana Weep Mini Bong Nini Bong. And of course, that's going to be my absolute favorite, right? Moving over to the world of Lek Customs. Lek, the best cell shader in the business, has now finished his sound wave. And it is gorgeous just look at this i would do anything to have a shelf of bots that looked like this i think it's was quite interesting when it started because this originally if you've missed the way that this one has progressed this started off as a translucent figure and i was asking myself what is he going to do differently here and he didn't he, he's just done his usual work here um so he hasn't really kept the translucentness but he's now moving on i guess to do with those little mini figures that go along with it absolutely amazing he is the best in the business and as i always say go and give him a subscribe a like on facebook because he's criminally under liked and under subscribed links are down in the description and then we move over to the world of jizaya toys yeah, Jizaya Toys, the company that makes fantastic looking things that you can never get your grubby little mitts on. And this is a super deformed, transforming sound wave. Always good when super deformed actually transforms, because sometimes they just don't, they just sit there and look okay. But there's also a big ass blaster. I don't know why blaster has to be a very different size here compared to sound wave, but I do love that sound wave absolutely fantastic 
Going back to conventions, and if you are in the UK, then in a couple of weeks you are going to get TF Nation 2023 down in Birmingham. I myself still don't know if I'm going. I'm still waiting to find out what is actually going on with my work and where in Europe I will be because anyone that watches this channel knows that um, for my real job, which this isn't, sends me all around Europe doing all kinds of daft stuff. So I still need to find out where it is I'm going to be. Maybe I will make a little pop in if it's not sold out already because this does sell out pretty damn quick. So get yourself a ticket if you know that you can be there and maybe you will see me there on the Sunday or something. I just love showing you some crap that I find on AliExpress or Weibo or some of the things that we see. And this is definitely some crap that we found on Weibo and AliExpress. So a prime kind of colored bot and also a definitely Constructicons colored bot that turns into a, a, a what a, a fire engine with a bird head or a snake head and a truck with a I don't know what's going on here it's like if you got Beast Wars and the normal bots and just mashed them together and said that'll do that'll do pig that'll do so DNA Designs did a really cool competition where you had to guess what the kit for their next figure was and shook it was a prime just like i said it was a prime pretty obvious from those stacks but they did put him in an awkward position so he didn't know where it was this is a great upgrade kit this is why you buy upgrade kits this makes a very big difference and also comes with a a filthy flesh creature as well even if that filthy flesh creature is put into a suit so you can see i don't know how poseable he is he just seems to be in one hero pose there but it comes with massive arm cannons that turn into a rocket for the back there's an axe there's filler pieces this is a great great upgrade kit comes with two massive swords as well and then everything just fits neatly into that trailer on the back really really great D dna have done a fantastic job here and keeping things just prime then kfc toys are doing their version of power master prime and we're seeing a few more pictures of this including this does that core look a bit odd to you yeah, that core looks a bit odd to me. It's because it's made of cardboard. Yes, this is the figure that I originally was going to pick up and then went, Oh God, no, because you are selling the trailer and the core separately, which really disappointed me and I cancelled my pre-orders. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm not here for that, even though this does look like a fantastic Power Master Prime. I love the fact that it's a real upgrade to the original figure that we got the base mode is almost identical the trailer mode is exactly identical i love the idea of it but i'll guess i'll wait for the gift set to come out fans hobby are getting ready to release their fantastic looking destroyer and the packaging for this looks great as well really love the way that it kind of throws back to the original kind of japanese stuff that came out especially when you look at the way that they've i think definitely redesigned the fans hobby logo here usually it's that black on red and we're getting a, a new version of the logo see-through window whole thing on this looks absolutely fantastic they just do such great work when it comes to the anime transformers if you would like a copper statue then tong shifu have got you covered yes tong shifu are doing copper statues of prime and primal Obviously, they don't transform. I don't even think they move. They have a kind of gold, copper kind of tinge to them. But to me, they look like, you know, if you buy a figure from eBay and it's come from a house that smokes, so the white is not white anymore. It's got that kind of yellow nicotine tinge to it. Yeah, it just lo looks a bit like that. Not great. Anybody who watches this channel knows that over the years... I've become a little bit more partial to the legend scale figures. So I, I tend to collect a little bit more legend scale figures than anything else. New Age specifically, because I just, well, I really love the detailing that New Age do. But I also like the fact that I can just get so many more on the shelf and it doesn't take up quite as much space. And in all honesty, 
The quality, especially when it comes to the New Age ones and the transformations, are just so much more fun for me. And this one isn't New Age, but this bad boy, yes, this is a Legend Scale Metroplex. Whoa, this is known as the Fortress of Defense, or the Vladivostok, Vladivostok, okay, YC001. This scheduled price is going to be at 739 yen. I do not know how much that is going to be in real money. The estimated shipping on this one is going to be in October 2023, so it's going to be coming out super soon, and it stands at a massive height of 45 centimeters and contains 12 magnetic lighting effects, and the mouth is also movable. The mouth is movable. Brilliant. When they say magnetic lighting, I think this will be something akin to the purple potato, where you've got like a magnet where you can touch different parts of the bot and then things will light up, which is really, really cool. And I love that on the purple potato. Amazing. Really cool. This is definitely one that I'm going to be checking out and probably purchasing. And then finally, we get a closer look on the three zero takes on the everything from rise of the beasts so we get a closer look at the scourge we get a closer look at the optimus primal in his not seen very often bot mode we also see a closer look on their highly detailed mirage as well all these figures of course look good don't transform and are at a super high price point as they always have been but they do have quite a nice points of articulation and are very very well made so if you are into collecting these these could be something you want to add to your collection for me they don't transform so they don't make it into mine so that is everything from me on this Transformers Saturday. I hope you're all having a fantastic weekend. I'm going to go away now and play myself a little bit more speedball. I think 100%. That's what I'm going to do with the rest of my day. It's going to rain in Manchester, so I'm going to go and play more speedball. Honestly, pick up Ant Stream. It is phenomenal. Peace.